Queen Elizabeth II. Written by Jennerina. Illustrated by Monique Dong. Elizabeth Alexandra Mary Windsor was born in London, England on April 21st, 1926. She was just like any kid, except for one thing. Elizabeth was a princess. Her little sister, Margaret, was a princess too, because their grandfather was the king of the United Kingdom. Elizabeth and Margaret first lived in a townhouse in London. It had 25 bedrooms and a ballroom, but it wasn't a palace. Lilibet, that was Elizabeth's nickname, was smart and a little shy and very organized. Before bedtime, she lined up her toy horses and pretended to feed them. The girls didn't go to school. They had lessons at home. Their family was close and happy. No one thought Elizabeth and Margaret's father would ever be king. Their uncle, his brother, was next in line to the throne. When Elizabeth was 10 years old, everything changed. Her grandfather passed away, and her uncle became king, but only for a short time. Now suddenly, Elizabeth's father had to be king. Since he didn't have a son, his oldest child, Elizabeth, would be his heir to the throne. One day, she would be the queen. The family moved into Buckingham Palace. The king didn't make the laws of the land. That power belonged to the parliament. Still, Britain's ruler had an important role, and Elizabeth's father wanted her to be prepared. He taught her to feel a sense of duty. Elizabeth grew up believing that she served the people, not that the people served her. In 1939, Germany's army invaded Poland, which started World War II. The king and queen stayed in Buckingham Palace, even as it was bombed. For safety, the two princesses lived at Windsor Castle in the countryside. The crown jewels were hidden there too, 60 feet under the castle in a biscuit tin. During the war, Princess Elizabeth wanted to help. She raised money for the troops. She gave a radio speech to cheer up children like her who were away from their home because of the war. And when peace comes, remember, it will be for us, the children of today, to make the world of tomorrow a better and happier place. In 1945, when she was 18, Elizabeth signed up for the women's branch of the British Army. She learned to change tires, strip an engine, and drive large trucks. On the day the war ended, crowds of people cheered and danced in the streets outside Buckingham Palace. Princess Elizabeth and Princess Margaret happily joined them. After the war, things didn't get better right away. London had been bombed and would need to rebuild. But soon came some happy news. A royal wedding! Elizabeth was in love. She had met charming, handsome Philip when she was just eight years old. They'd met again when she was 13. And for years, they had written letters back and forth. On November 20th, 1947, they got married. Sadly, Elizabeth's father passed away a few years later. Elizabeth, her family, and the country mourned the king. When she was just 25 years old, Elizabeth rode to Westminster Abbey in a fancy gold coach pulled by eight horses, wearing a white satin dress and a plush purple robe. She swore to govern with justice and mercy. A heavy crown was placed on her head. England had a new queen, Elizabeth II. Queen Elizabeth didn't wear a robe and crown every day. She mostly wore colorful suits and hats. But every day, she served the people and her country. She raised a family, too. Elizabeth and Philip had four children, three boys and one girl. 
Years passed, and then decades. Calm, steady Queen Elizabeth kept watch over her country. By tradition, the Queen stayed out of politics. She didn't even vote. But that didn't mean she didn't make change. She became friends with Nelson Mandela and supported his work against racism in South Africa. She visited Ireland. Despite its troubled history with Britain, she was the first British ruler to go there in 100 years. She backed a new British law allowing a ruler's oldest child, a son or a daughter, to be heir to the throne. Being queen wasn't always easy. Queen Elizabeth once famously said that 1992 was a horrible year. Her children, now grown, were unhappy. Her heir, Prince Charles, separated from his wife, Princess Diana. Then, Windsor Castle caught fire. Slowly, things settled down. Her grandchildren got married and had children of their own. In 2012, Britain celebrated something very special, a diamond jubilee. Elizabeth had been queen for 60 years. There were concerts, fireworks, and picnics. People lined the streets to cheer. With her family around her, Queen Elizabeth watched and waved and smiled. A few years later, on September 9, 2015, Queen Elizabeth II became Britain's longest ruling monarch, overtaking her great-great-grandmother, Queen Victoria's record. And in 2022, Elizabeth marked 70 years on the throne. To honor her, Britain threw its first Platinum Jubilee. In war and in peace, in good times and in bad, Queen Elizabeth carried on. Fate had made her queen, and by working hard, she won the people's respect. She always put the crown and the country above everything, and the country's crown had no brighter jewel. Um, at the date of this recording, Queen Elizabeth has passed away. She passed away on September 8th, 2022. She was 96 years old and she was at Balmoral Castle in Scotland with her family by her side. Thank you so much for listening. We hope that you loved this book as much as we do. Please don't forget to subscribe and we will see you in the next book.